OK, so let's say I want to solve sine squared plus 2 sine minus 3 equals 0 between 0 and 360 degrees. Now this is a quadratic in sine. So what you need to be looking out for with these types of problems is can they be factorised? Um, or can you just go straight through to use the quadratic formula? Uh, remember you've got the quadratic solver on your calculator as well. Okay, now it's sometimes easier to see uh, factorising this um, if you think of it like y squared plus 2y minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so factorising that uh, quadratic instead, which you should be able to do is 1, y plus 3, y minus 1. Okay, so if you replace the y's back with sine x, then we have this quadratic equation. Now, if you can go straight from that step to that step, then that's perfectly fine. Okay? Because now what we have is that either sine x is minus 3, coming from that bracket, or sine x is equal to 1, coming from the second bracket. So, let's sketch sine. Now, sine between 0 and 360 looks like this. Okay. Now, sine goes between 1 and minus 1. So, if I'm looking at sine x is equal to minus 3, minus 3 is all the way down here. And so, that would never cross the sine curve. And so, there are no solutions to this equation of sine x equals minus 3. I mean, you could try it on your calculator, so inverse sine of minus 3, and you should get a math error up here, right? So there are no solutions to that equation, and you need to identify that you know that to the examiner. Now, for sine x equals 1, well, 1's up here, and it's going to touch the curve once, and that top bit there, which is halfway between 0 and 180, so that's at 90 degrees. So x is 90 degrees. So you can always check that on your calculator, okay, to get the 90 degrees, but that is the only solution between 0 and 360 for the original problem.